Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fun one because we are going to be organizing and decluttering my lipstick drawer. Thank you guys so much for all of the love you showed on my previous organization video of my eyeshadow palettes. If you haven't seen it yet, I'll link it in the cards. I didn't think that many people would be interested in organization videos, but you guys loved it. And I think it's good to go through your collection and declutter old things. First of all, because makeup expires. Second of all, so you can, you know, make room for things that might be more trendy or just so you have a collection of products that you actually want to use. Also, I wanted to apologize quickly for my lighting in my last video. It was atrocious. It was a big snowstorm that we got that day and it was just so gloomy. So I tried to make the best of my lighting situation and as I was editing it, I was like, oh, this did not go well. But yeah, hopefully we are back on track now with the lighting. I think it's looking okay. I don't know. I guess I'll see when I edit this. And yeah, now the weather is pretty good in Canada. It's really freaking cold though. It's like minus 15 degrees. So I have a turtleneck and a cardigan on. I need both today. And my hair is a mess as per usual. My baby hairs are out of control today. So just ignore those. We're just going to pretend that they're all nice and not frizzy, you know? Anyway, so today we are going to be decluttering my lipsticks. This is my lipstick drawer. Oh, you can't even see. I might be cutting my face off, but like it's about the lipsticks anyways. So this is my lipstick drawer. It's really messy. Don't judge me too much, okay? Okay, so that's like the organized part, but then you like look down and I just don't keep anything where it's supposed to be. Ooh, it's really bad. Okay, so I think I'll do the same thing that I did with my eyeshadow palettes. I feel like it's easier to declutter and go through when it's all laid out in front of me and then I can go back and like organize everything. I'm also gonna take out these organizers. Oh my God, there's even more back here. Oh gosh. So these are all of the lipsticks I have. It goes pretty deep too. Oh gosh, this is gonna be interesting. Uh, yeah, so that's what we have going on currently and let's get to decluttering. Okay. So again, I'm going to start off, I think, with brands that I have a lot of. That's what I did last time, and I feel like it worked well. So I have this initial lipstick organizer, and I'm going to put all of my Pixie liquid lipsticks in here. They sent me the entire range, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, so I'm just going to put these in here. I'm not going to get rid of, I don't think, any of them, because I do really like the formula of these, and I do tend to reach for them fairly frequently, especially for Instagram looks. I, I use them a lot. Oh, that's a pretty nude. It's in collaboration with Mariam Maquillage. I like that color. Hopefully I'll use that soon. Well, I will use that soon. I'm gonna make sure I do that. That's a pretty color too. I remember this one, it's in the shade Berry Boost. It's not as dark as it looks in the tube. It looks super vampy, but I know it's not as dark. This is my favorite red lipstick. This is Real Red by Pixie. I wore it in our holiday Christmas photos that we took this year. I'll put a little picture of it right here. It's such a pretty red. I really like this one. Okay, and that is all of my Pixie lipsticks. They kind of fit in that little organizer perfectly. Not getting rid of any of those. What I am going to get rid of is these by Hard Candy. I was keeping them because they're crazy colors. So I'm like, oh, for a look, this could be fun. It's the Glitterazi Press and Play Glitter Transforming Lip Color. It's that lipstick formula that you put on. I mean, obviously you put on lipstick, but you put it on and then you press your lips together and it turns into a glitter lipstick. So these were fun, but they're kind of old. And like, how often am I going to use a teal? You know what I mean? Like I haven't touched it. That's so cool though. No, I don't. I don't need it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use it. I don't want to get rid of these because they're really cool, but I just don't think I will use them and I haven't yet. This is a really cool color. This like bright pinky purple. See, but like they're so much fun. Like what? That's so cool. Okay. I'm going to declutter these. That's hard for me, but I, I need to. I haven't eaten. I haven't even touched these. I need a makeup wipe because I feel like I'm going to be swatching a lot of things. Fourth Ray Beauty sent over their makeup wipes and I'm not a huge makeup wipe user. I use the uh, makeup eraser type cloths to get rid of my makeup. It's just less waste that way. But for swatches and stuff, I really like these 4-3 Beauty ones. They're really nice and wet. They're not those dry and crusty makeup wipes that you can sometimes get. Anyway, okay. What should I do next? Maybe I'll do the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. This one's really freaking old. It still smells okay though. Maybe I'll get rid of it. Mm, am I ready though? Yeah, yeah, I don't use these. Let's get rid of it. Okay, so I have three soft matte lip creams that I don't use. So I have the shade San Paolo 
and Copenhagen and Cairo and I don't use these I don't really like the formula I just kept buying them I don't know why I kept buying them they smell really nice so maybe that's why I just don't love the formula I find these settle into my lips they have really textured lips so uh yeah these aren't my faves so I'm gonna declutter them let's do my Kylie lip kits next I'm probably gonna keep all of them because they're expensive I got the shade Head Over Heels. I got the shade Boy Bye. I didn't buy this one, they sent it to me, but yeah, I have, this one was also sent to me. I have Malibu. Where's the last one? Here it is. I have Charm, but that's in my makeup bag because I wear that one fairly frequently. This is Shook Velvet. I love this for fall, very beautiful. And I'll just put them in the front. So I have four of those. Okay, these have to go. I've had them for way too long. Okay, it looks like I only have the one. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Soft Lilac. I love this color. Oh yeah, that's off. That does not smell good. It's just such a pretty liquid lipstick, but I'm not super into liquid lips anymore. I also, ha oh, here it is. I have the shade Craft. So I'm clearly into these purpley tones and I don't use these because they smell funky. So it's time to get rid of them. I have this liquid lipstick from Cloven Hollow. I'm gonna get rid of this. I also have this lipstick. I don't even think I've used this, which is kind of sad, but I need to get rid of it because I have no intention of using it. It's a bright pink not my jam. I never really got super into the brand, so I'm just going to declutter these. So I'm going to take these by Pop Beauty. These are their permanent pout liquid lips. They're not my favorite formula, but they're still fairly new, so I'm going to keep them. I have a bright purple. This one's OMG Violet. I use this in my Ariana Grande inspired makeup look. I'll post a little picture here. I have the shade Razzle Rose. I actually have more shades, but I keep them up there for decorative purposes. These are the ones I've used. Sweet Harmony and Pale Baby. I think these ones are collabs with YouTubers, but I've never heard of them, so I'm just mm, not even going to try to butcher their names. I have... Oh. That doesn't sound right. Well, it's broken, so I guess I should get rid of it. This is the Sam Marcel Paris lipstick. Very luxurious looking. I actually really like this color. It doesn't smell off either, but I don't use it. I think I've used it all of once. So I'm gonna get rid of this one too. I just don't use it. And now that it's broken, I don't think I will. I have this Sam Marcel luxurious liquid lipstick. Don't use this at all. So yeah, I feel like I don't really do reds very often. And when I do, I have the Pixie Beauty Real Red and that's like my go-to. So I don't really stray from that. Oh, here's something I'm going to declutter. This is the Cashmere Silk Demi Matte Cream Lip Color by Hard Candy. Actually, I like this. I'm going to keep it. I'll swatch it for you, actually. It's really pretty, actually. I think I had it in one of my favorites videos. No, it's fine. It, it's fine. <laughs> It's like super affordable too. I mean, I guess I could always get another one. But this one's special because they sent it to me. This one, so it's like, it's sheer. As you can see, the color in the tube looks really dark, but it's not. It's super comfortable to wear too. I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it for now. Okay, sorry if the lighting's changed or anything. I had to change my lip color. I was wearing the Lux Velvet by ColourPop, but my lips are just too dry for that right now. So I changed it to my favorite, which is my own lipstick I created with Bite Beauty. The Bite Beauty Lip Lab, I didn't collab with them, obviously. But I went also to my makeup bag to grab whatever was in there, and I found my Kylie Charm Velvet, and I feel like I should put it in my drawer. I know I use it a lot, but I can get up and walk to my drawer to get a lipstick. I should stop being lazy. I have this lipstick from Laura Mercier. This is the, the Lure Lovers lip color in the shade An Affair. I don't remember where I got this. It's a very pretty color actually, but I don't use it, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Oh yeah, I need to get rid of it. I think I was reluctant to get rid of this because I got it at the makeup by Mario, Kim Kardashian's makeup artist. I went to his Toronto masterclass and I got this then, and yeah, so that's why I've kind of been holding on to it, but it's time to let it go. I don't know why I'm like leaning over. I think I'm also going to be putting lip pencils in this drawer, so I'm gonna do that quickly. I have only ColourPop and Kylie, I think. So I have all of the ColourPop lippy pencils from their big poppy collection. I also have the shade BFF. Oh, this is gross, but it's right out of my makeup bag, so put those in here. I have my Kylie one. I'm just recently started getting into lip liner, so I don't have a ton, but it's definitely something I want to kind of like expand my collection. I have this ColourPop and Hocus Pocus collab. This is the shade Lucky Rat Tail. I don't think I've worn that one yet. Oh, these are very similar. If you couldn't get your hands on the Lucky Rat Tail, this one from the Big Poppy collection, they look pretty, okay. I might just be making that up. Let me take an actual look here. Oh, they're not the same at all. Don't listen to me. 
those are not the same. Just forget I even said anything. So those were all my lip pencils actually. So yeah, it's a small collection, just a wee guy. It's in its infancy, I will further expand Hopefully. Let me know what your favorite lip liner formula is. I would love to know and I want to buy them. Oh, I have this one by Pixie that's also in my makeup bag. This is in the shade matte beige. Put that in there. And I think I'll move on to ColourPop because that's probably the next one that I have the most of. Maybe I will dedicate this whole thing to ColourPop. Maybe, because I have a lot of their lippy sticks lately. I'm just thinking out loud here. Oh, I have these from Buxom that I really enjoy. I want more colors. I think I got these. I got these as a gift in some masterclass. I don't really remember. These are the Vava Plump Shiny Liquid Lipsticks. I really like them. I want more. They're really flattering because they're shiny. They're not transfer proof, but they do stay on a long time. They're not super glossy to the point where they get goopy. I just, I really like them. I have the shade Beg for Mauve and Come to Dolly. Because these can be so tricky, these lipstick holders, I'm gonna take my liquid lipsticks and I'm going to put them in this little organizer here. Just because when they're standing up, they kind of move around and they can't stand up properly. A lot of them, when you get to like the higher shelves, cause it's like slanted, you know, once you get to the top ones, you can't really close the drawer. So I'm actually changing my mind and I'm going to put them in this little organizer just because I don't see myself buying a ton of liquid lipsticks in the near future. They're just not my jam anymore. I have this one by Ofra. This is in the shade Verona. I really like this one, so I'll keep that. I have this one by Stila in the shade Miel and it's a shimmer liquid lipstick. I don't think I've even opened this because I don't like shimmer liquid lipstick. So I'm going to declutter this. The exception to this is the ColourPop Luxe Velvet formula. I think I'll keep those in the lipstick organizer because the Luxe formula, they're just super short. So this liquid lipstick by ColourPop, or it's the ultra blotted lip. It's in the shade Oh Hey There. I love this color. So I'm going to keep that for sure. Oh, I have this one by Lime Crime that is a bit shorter. So I'm going to keep it in the organizer. It's in the shade Virgo. I haven't used it because it's really light for me. It's one of those like super nude nudes and I don't really know how to wear it. Honestly, if you have any recommendations, I've heard a dark lip liner will help. So maybe I'll try that. I'm going to keep it because I want to make it work for me. And I haven't tried like a ton of Lime Crime stuff. Some liquid lipsticks that I am going to get rid of actually. These are by Too Faced. I'm going to get rid of the melted mattes. I have the shade Queen Bee, and I really liked this for a long time, but it's time to go. It's probably heavily expired. Let me do the sniff test. I would not put that anywhere near my mouth. This is going. So is the mini, even though I really like the color, it's gotta go. I also have the shade Feeling Myself. I like this one too. And the shade Sellout, like the shade too, but they gotta go. I have the Melted Latex. This is the High Shine Liquid Lips. It's kind of similar to the Buxom one, but these ones are so sticky. They smell like watermelon, it's kind of nice. I don't even think they sell these anymore, but I really prefer the Buxom ones over this, so I'm gonna get rid of this. I have a couple of Kylie mini liquid lipsticks that they sent me, so I'm gonna keep those. I'm also gonna keep it in the lipstick organizer just because they are minis. They're all kind of red. I have Boss, Rad, and Victoria. Victoria is my favorite, it's so pretty. So I'm just gonna put those in there because they're really cute. And I actually do use them too. Um, I'm going to get rid of all of these Kat Von D ones, not because I don't like them, but because I think they're about five years old and that's, that's not good. I got them all at the same time and it's just, it's time to let go. So I'm going to get rid of these. Um, I do like the red. The only thing is I only need one red. Again, I don't wear reds a lot, so I'm gonna get rid of all of them actually. Let's pick a random one for a sniff test. I don't use these either. I don't reach for them. Oh yeah, that's not good anymore. Okay, so these are going. And I think it's time to get rid of this one by Bite Beauty. Yeah, it doesn't smell great anymore. This is in the shade Sugar Cane. They've since updated their formula and I just, I think it's time. I also have this Bite Beauty sample. Oh, that's really hard to read. Demi Glass, Demi Glace, I don't know, something like that. And it's not a very nice color. I don't think I'll ever use, the, oh yeah, that's not good. Okay, it's also very chunky. It's probably gone bad, 
I got this sample quite a long time ago, so I'm gonna get rid of this too. Wow, I'm decluttering so much. It feels good, but I'm kind of sad about it. I have this Huda Beauty liquid lipstick and I actually really like it, so I'm gonna keep it. The formula is really nice and thin, so even though liquid lipsticks aren't my go-to anymore, like I probably wouldn't go out and buy more of these, I do like the one that I have, so I'm gonna keep it. It's in the shade Bombshell. And I think we can move on to my ColourPop and Stelazzi lipsticks because I think that is everything. So I have my ColourPop Pop and Sophia Nygaard. I'm gonna keep these because I really like Sophia. Colourpop sent these to me, so I just, I really like them, but I hardly knew anything about Sophia, and since then, I've binged pretty much every video she's ever made. One of my favorite YouTubers for sure. They're so pretty too. I kind of mangled them because I mixed all of them together in like a makeup science, so I made a Franken lipstick out of the Franken lipsticks. So they're kind of mangled and it kind of hurt my heart to do that, but it was a fun video. I'll link it in the cards if you want to see. They're so pretty. I do like them. I need to use them more, but it's hard because I want to use things that are still available and these were limited edition, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, I'm going to keep the Hocus Pocus collab. This is in the shade Sarah. I have not used this yet, but I want to. I should really pretty it's a very deep red oh this one is not by color pop it's by flower beauty and i love this lipstick formula i think it's really good i wish flower beauty was more readily available in canada you really can't find it anywhere i really like the formula i got it in ulta last year a while ago but like not a crazy long time ago so yeah i'm gonna keep this because i really do like the formula this is the color pop lipstick with kathleen lights in the shade what's your sign it's like a peachy brownish nude. Very pretty. I like that one. I don't think this is available anymore either. I hate how ColourPop discontinues so many of their products. It can be frustrating. I have the shade Scorpio Moon in collaboration with Kathleen Lights and I love this color. I was going to wear this one today but I couldn't find it. Alas, here it is. Everything was so unorganized so found it. I have the shade Tea Time which is a cream finish. This came out with their Spring Roll collection. Really like this one as well, very beautiful. I also love the Luxe lipstick packaging. I'm pretty sure they're still packaged like this. And then I have the shade Spring Roll, which is a warmer nude and it's very pretty as well. Okay, so now I'm going to do my lippy sticks because I have a lot of those lately. I have the shade Fab, which is from their Big Poppy collection. Yeah, I should probably store them in one of these. I have this, so I'm gonna store them in here. Oh yeah, here's one. It's in the shade Coyote Ugly with their Sandstone collection. That's a pretty color. I'm gonna keep that. I don't have a ton of lippy sticks, but I have a couple, so. And now I think I'll move on to my Stelazzi lipsticks. I have a ton of these. They sent me every single one. They're so sweet to me. I really do like their lipstick formula too. I love the lip shears. I like sheer lipsticks. I just find they're more flattering, especially for my textured ass lips. Ooh, I love this one. This is in the shade yeah, they smell fine, okay. I don't wear this one too often because it's a little bold for me, but this is in the shade Wild Child. Oh, so pretty. They're pretty sheer and glossy and I really like that. Oh, it's this one I like, Fortune Teller. It's not the Wild Child shade. Well, I like that one too, but Fortune Teller, I feel like is more wearable for me while still being deep. It's this one down here. I love this color. Ones that I am gonna get rid of, I'm gonna get rid of the red because I just, I don't wear red lipstick. And I don't want things in my collection that I'm just never gonna wear. So I think there's two reds in their collection that I'm just gonna get rid of. Wow, there's a lot of shades. They have seven shades of those lip shears. I need to get back into them. So the rest are their lip mattes or lip creams. You know what, after thinking about it some more, I really don't use this and I'm, I'm gonna get rid of it. I don't think I'll continue to reach for it. This is the hard candy one that I was debating earlier. I'm just, I'm gonna declutter it. I don't think I'll miss it. Wow, okay, I feel like I did a really good job. I decluttered quite a bit of lipstick. So let's put it all back now. So I'm gonna put these at the very back of the drawer, these lipstick holders. Oh. There we go. And I'll slide those back there. And then this is my ColourPop bullet lipsticks and one flower. Maybe I'll put the flower one over here just because it's the only single lone wolf in my ColourPop one. And hopefully I'll get more ColourPop lipsticks soon. I'll put these ones at the back because the front three rows are empty. So I want more lipsticks like closer to the front so that I'll use them more, if that makes sense. So I'll put this one at the back and then this one here. And then I'll put my lippy sticks here because I'm sure I'll get more of those. ColourPop sends out a lot of PR. And then I have my liquid. Oh, Jesus, that scared the crap out of me. 
I have my liquid lipsticks and then I'll put my lip liners at the front. I don't think you can see that here. So there you can kind of see. Um, the only issue is my ColourPop ones at the back, they're not gonna get a lot of love. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it at that for now, but as you can see, this drawer doesn't come out anymore and the ColourPop ones at the back, I'm not really gonna have access to. If you have any suggestions on how I can fix that, like should I put the ColourPop lipsticks in something like this? Like just like a little tub? Let's try that and I'll see how it works. Cause I don't have a ton of ColourPop lipsticks. Those here. My Sophia Nygaard's there. I feel like that will be better, and I'll just maybe keep this in my closet for now until I decide what I'm gonna do with it. And then I can keep these kind of here. If you guys have any suggestions on how to better store things like lipstick, cause I always have trouble. Palettes are easy cause you can stand them up and kind of line them up like little books, but lipsticks are tricky. So I'll put these here and then I will put my little dinky lip liner collection at the front here. So this is what we have going on now. Again, if you have any recommendations on how to improve this, that would be appreciated. But I feel like this is much better than what I had before, you know what I mean? And then this right here, don't mind my disgusting makeup wipe. So this right here is everything that I am getting rid of and I'm really proud of that. The lipsticks were actually a lot easier for me to declutter because if I was on the fence, you can just sniff lipsticks. You can tell when they've gone off, whereas powder eyeshadow, it's a little bit harder to tell I find. And I find that I connect with eyeshadow so much more. I know it's just a product, but but just the feeling of eyeshadow and like, you know, thinking of all the looks I could create with it. I just, I'm so much more attached to my eyeshadow palettes in that way. Lipsticks were a lot easier for me to get rid of. They're just not something I get as excited about. So yeah, that was pretty easy to declutter. And now I have room to grow my lipstick collection yet again. I feel like lipsticks, they're kind of like my second favorite. Eyeshadow is just my all-time favorite and then I do enjoy a good lipstick, don't get me wrong. But like with eyeshadows you have like such pretty sparkle and different finishes and I guess you have that with lips but like glittery lips are not, they're not in. They've never been in. They don't look good on me so yeah. Let me know which category you want me to do next. I have a lot. Okay, um, I feel like even next what could be fun is organizing my single shadow glitter eyeliner drawer. That could be fun. Maybe I'll do that one next. Let me know if you guys wanna see that. Anyway, that is it for me today. Thank you so much for tuning in and thank you so much for watching if you've made it this far. Please don't forget to subscribe if you have not yet. If you don't want to, that's okay. I just really appreciate you being here. You really help out my channel, just you watching, so thank you. Please leave any video requests that you may have in the comments down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.